Hello everybody. So today we are going to be talking about a very common vacuum cleaner that people probably still have or had in their collection before. So the vacuum ahead of me is a 2004 Bissell Car Force Bay 3522-1. So these vacuums were a very good budget vacuum in the early 2000s. To late 2000s and then throughout the years they degraded like they degraded some stuff upgraded some things you know it's just very so the power force line started in 2002 with the first original 3522 it's like the same thing as this one but that one has a different sticker and it only says this on the base And that started in February of 2002. That was the entry model. So the sticker was blue and yellow. And then in early 2003, they changed. In early 2003, they had the original 3522. But the only thing they added was the, this on the base. And then in... April 2003, they added, they made the 3522-1. So the 3522-1 is the only difference is the hose kind of flexible and the sticker changed. So the sticker says powerful, lightweight, onboard tools, three stage filtration, bad check indicator, and quick and easy assembly. And the 3522-1 started 03 and it was being manufactured 2003-2004 until so February 2005. So, oh yeah, and the other difference on the original 3522 series is that I have the back check in the code. Then in 2005, in February, March of 2005, they manufactured the 3522-5. It's the same thing as the dash one, but a couple differences is if the sticker had the same, but the sticker had like a lot of a couple of color reflections or differences. You just had to see it. The headlight wasn't a bayonet bulb. It was just a click and snap light bulb. Now this is a bad net bulb so it's going to have a peanut size. The other dash 5 it just had a click in bulb. And then the dash 5 it had a twist and snap pose versus the dead. The late dash 1 had a twist and snap pose. I don't know if this one does. Does this one do? Model 3522-4. That's a red, red Target exclusive manufactured in January, February 2004. So the 3522-4 started at 04 and it ended in February 2005. It just lasted for a year running. So the Dash 4 is completely different. It has no sticker. It's all red. Some models had a headlight something in it. And it just said Bissell on the base, on the bag door. And there was some white labeling. And then the base was red and it had a black height adjustment knob. And it said the same labeling on the base, but it was in white. So that's dash four. I don't know if they made a dash two. I don't know. And then they made a 
thirty-five twenty-two dash three is the same thing as this one. I don't see no point in why we dash three. And then in two thousand in November of two thousand and five, they made a thirty-five twenty-two dash six. Now that's just the same thing, just has a different bowl style. Had a clicking snap hubs, and then the bag, the um. Handle base sticker was different. It had yellow, it had an orange sticker. And then that was until, and it, that ran until October 2006, September 2006. And then in December of 06, they met the 3525 series. And then that, the first original 3525 was similar to 35. It was similar as the 3522-6. Same thing, but they just changed the 12 amp logo. And then the Power Force logo. And then they made the 3525-2 in 2007. And then they dropped the headlight, they dropped the fat check indicator. And then they dropped the 12 amps too. Wait, no, they kept the 12 amp. And then after that, they made 3537, it's like a burgundy color of the 3525 series. After that, they made a um, 71Y7 in 2009. It's the same thing, they make the 71Y7 in a very different color. They made a blue color, they made a purple color, that's an off off color. They made an orange color, or a red color. They made a um, Original black color that was the second one I said in HW in 2010. Yeah. So, yeah. And then they dropped everything down to the 1398 series. They put an 8 amp motor in that, and everything just changed. After that, in 20, late 2015, they redesigned it to model 1739, the new one you could get. <coughs> you can still get like a discount for it depending on where you go though. Yeah. yeah, but this is the 3522-1. Now everybody likes the Power Forces. I do too. I used to, um, I was going to have a Dash 6, but somebody stole it at my job. Somebody, a customer gave me three baggies. One was the 3522-6, one was the 3525-R. And a uh, big green commercial thing. Somebody stole from that. I got mad. So, y'all probably remember a year ago, I had another Dirt 522 one had a shot motor in it, and then I gave that one to somebody. I'm not going to say the name because I'm not trying to get in trouble. Yeah. And I found another one. So, this vacuum. I like this a lot. Everything works on it. It does look pretty good condition. Only thing is, this was typical problem. And a lot breaking. But no big deal. So, I'm just going to go through the works of it real quick. I'll show you how everything goes. So, this is a bag model. So, have a bag in there and this is a I don't know why they put three stage filtration but how the three stage filtration goes it's like it picks up through the hose and then it goes into the bag and then this filter right here, y'all probably can see this filter a little bit right here, all the dust that doesn't go to the bag, that filter covers that dust that don't go into the motor. So that's the post motor filter. on 
this bag check indicator, so when the bag gets kind of full to a certain level, this would mean red, and then that's how you know to change your bag. I like that feature on this one. Five pipe adjustments, like most bissels, most bissels, uh, higher end bissels, five seven high adjustments. Use the style of seven bag spelts. Now I like the um, I like the bristles because they tell you what type of belts to replace. Use the style of something else using belts. That's why I like about them. I pipe adjustments. Keep it on low. Twelve amps bristle logo. Bristle power forms. Powerful, lightweight, and this vacuum is very lightweight. Onboard tools, tools are ready to use for convenience. Cleaning anywhere, three stage filtration, three stage filtration system, catches dust and micro particles. Bag change indicator, indicator to turn spread so you know when to empty your bag, change your bag. Quick, it's easy assembly. All you gotta do is take the thing out of the box and put two screws in it for the hose and one screw in for the handle. Search your bag and then put the attachments on. That's how easy it was. We go to the back. So this one has a stretch hose and it's a pretty nice length of decent length of. I like about these bristles, it has like a little hose grip on here. Now on the dash, the original 3542-1 series, that this sticker is check, check and change bag, often for next and clean cool for these style seven bags, carrying handle. Back in the back in 2002 to 2012, when the original Power Force series started. And yeah. So I guess I'll review it, show you how it runs. So I like about these older bristles is they have a little core thing, like a core foot where you can. Uh, Turn counterclockwise. Pretty easy plug in, you know. So I guess I'll show you how I'm going to put the plug in.
So that's the 3500-1. Now y'all could probably hear like the little motor gaze dogging sound. That's not the motor. It's the brush oil it has a crack on it and it caps, so I need some I'll show you the motor cleaned out. No, the belt. The brush oil cleaned out. Because the motor is in good shape, so that won't affect the motor that much. So yeah, that's the third Fox 22 one. Next up video will be the 65 Thanks for watching.